Are you tired of wearing many hats in your business and you have no idea how to delegate or what you should delegate so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable? Well, if you're ready to escape the trap of working for money and being your client's slave, strap yourself in because inside this video you're going to find some massive wealth time and leverage shortcuts that are used by some of the most successful coaches and consultants and also some other small business owners on the planet now you're going to discover a new model of running a business that's profitable and enjoyable What's up, coaches, consultants, and business owners? It's Prosper here with Live Long Digital, the number one digital marketing agency for service-based business owners like yourself, where we help you build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, today, I'm going to walk you through how to find out which jobs are worth your time and which ones are worth delegating. Now, when you learn this, you will know how to package, brand, and market your services so that you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And the whole purpose of this is so that you really find out what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are so that you do what you absolutely love doing and delegate the rest or outsource the rest so that you're enjoying your business and you're actually marketing yourself effectively. So before we check out how this actually works, be sure to subscribe to the Leave Long Digital channel because you don't want to miss any of our amazing strategy videos that will teach you how to make more money with less struggle. Subscribe. Now, basically what this is, is another checkpoint, if you would want to say, because if you are going to go on a journey or you're going to start running a marathon, you need to make sure you've got all the equipment and all the tools in place. Okay, so I'm going to be giving you a bunch of different activities for you to do. And some of these activities are the things that you would actually do when you're operating your business. And some of them are the things that you need to do in order for you to market your business. Now, what I want you to then do is rate each and every one of them by letting me know or maybe just doing it for yourself to figure out what is it that you actually hate doing and what is it that you love doing because there's no point in you trying to do a lot of stuff that you're not really good at when somebody can do it cheaper better faster and if you are doing things that you love consistently that means you're more productive that means you're more efficient and you're actually enjoying running your business so with the form that comes with this email be sure to really go through each and every one of the boxes and let us know what it is that you love doing and what it is that you hate doing. And guess what? You can keep doing that which you love doing and then you can outsource the rest to people that can do it cheaper, better, faster. So the, the whole purpose of this is to really find out what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and also to find out exactly what it is that you like doing and what you hate doing on the road to design for you um, your business and your marketing strategy okay we want to make sure that what you're setting yourself up and what you're going to be doing is a bunch of things that you absolutely love and not things that you're not good at or things that you don't like doing because if we do that what's going to happen is you either not going to go ahead with it and you won't even succeed you know if you keep doing stuff that you hate you will just dust it under the carpet and you won't complete or you won't do all the necessary steps that are needed for you to do it well okay and also if you're going to be doing this with some sort of grumpy uh, energy or if you begrudgingly do it um, the energy that resonates out of that work can be felt by the person who's reading it have you ever read a book and somehow you feel like wait a minute the energy is just not right you know and you feel like 
I'm not just getting what the author wanted me to get here. Or you go through a website and everything is just everywhere and, and nothing is in a sequence or an order that makes it easy for the reader to follow or to understand what is expected of them. All right. So it's because the person that did that had begrudgingly uh, completed that task. They shipped when they were not ready or they shipped when they were not in a really good mood. When you smile on the other end of the phone, guess what? The other person on the other end feels that smile. And when you smile in your videos, the person who's watching or consuming that content will also feel that smile. Okay. So, you know, um, I, I speak to a lot of clients and one time when I was speaking to this client on the phone, you know, she was a new client and I was getting to understand what it is that she does and who she wants to be helping. And she was in the accounting field. And, um, obviously she had consulted uh, previously with some other experts or gurus and they told her things that she didn't like doing, but they told her that was what was going to make her business uh, profitable and enjoyable. And she was told, I mean, most accountants that I know and, and based on how she was speaking, she sounded like an introvert, but the expert had told this client that she had to go and travel to events. She had to speak to, you know, other people or other accountants, share and spread business cards, all of that stuff that the gurus or experts are telling people out there, which is based Basically, what this potential client was not inclined or didn't absolutely love doing that. So I asked her one question. I was like, let's call her Sally. I was like, Sally, do you like speaking to people? Do you know what I mean? Do you like this whole traveling? And I got a very aggressive, no, I hate it. And I thought to myself, wow. So you're going to create your business and you're going to be doing all this marketing and you're structuring your strategies and activities to build that business with things that you absolutely hate doing. How does that work? It's like marrying somebody you absolutely hate. It's like marrying a rapist or a murderer and hoping that you will fix them. How's that going to work for you? Do you know what I mean? The truth is, it's not going to work. It's not going to turn overnight. It's not the business that you want. So what's the point? All right. So we get into this business ourselves because we want to do what we love and when we want to do it. We want to have the freedom to have and be and do a certain lifestyle. So my goal is to make sure that you set your business up and your marketing so that it allows you to do exactly that. And with this personal business style um, assessment, it's going to help you design a business and marketing that absolutely works for you. Okay. Now, there are going to be a few things that you might not absolutely like doing and really enjoy. But once you know those things, then you can easily outsource them to somebody who can do it cheaper, better, faster without wasting your time and depleting your energy. So let me be honest with you. Of course, they are going to be those things um, we call them the necessary evils that um, you need to be doing in your business so that it's profitable and enjoyable. And those things are non-negotiables and they absolutely have to be done whether you're good at them or not. Now, those are the things that I want you to take note of so that you know what to delegate and outsource, you know. Now, I'm also going to say this with utmost love and respect. You might just be uh, starting out um, in your business or you might not have the budget or the manpower to be doing this. But this now that you're aware of the things that you need to outsource or delegate, you can actually start working towards, um, you know, relieving yourself from doing those things. For example, I kid you not, when I started my business, uh, the first thing that I had to go, um, you know, was bookkeeping. I'm not good at math, you know, or anything else like, like that. And like many people, I was wearing all these hats and doing 
everything you know in my business and it just was not sustainable okay because with me bookkeeping took a lot of time and i didn't even know how to do it well and obviously when it came to bass and gst it was all just frustrating you know i wasn't good at it and i didn't really like doing it at all so it's things like that when you start knowing what it is that you need to get rid of and after you've done this assessment you will be able to see what it is that you need to um, outsource and what you absolutely love doing and just like that uh, accountant uh, potential client that i had um you know we found other ways that she could start marketing her business okay she didn't have to go out and travel and speak to people that she was anxious to speak to every other time and there are other things that we you know implemented in a business that she had to do which actually now makes her business profitable and she absolutely enjoys working in that business so what this exercise is about is to encourage you to be very honest and go through the whole process um you know of assessing what jobs you absolutely love doing and what can you quickly outsource um, as soon as you get the momentum or the opportunity to do so. So there you have it. You received this email because you are on a journey to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And for you to do this, there are going to be things that you are going to love doing in the process and things that you don't love doing in the process. So the assessment form that comes with this email is going to be your companion as it actually puts forefront um, all the things that you need to be doing yourself and the things that you don't like doing. And if at any time you decide that the last thing that you want to be doing is marketing your own business or tinkering with any of the, um, you know, marketing strategies that we are giving you, if you're ready to create a predictable, scalable marketing system that generates an abundance of new leads, nurture them effectively in an automated manner and um, so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, I suggest you go back to that email, click the button below, and you can schedule a call with me. I want that you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I will see you in the next email.